What up? I'm Opsa here, and today we're reviewing the Ben t three Ben Ten action figures. This is Diamond Head. Diamond Head in the show. In the show, it it shows you this in the original show, but he he's actually from a planet where everything and everyone is made of diamonds. Well, not diamonds. This is actually made of Taden. He's the material he's made out is actually called Tatanite, and that. And that is a, is the strongest material known to man. I mean, well, in their world, world it is. Tannite is actually really is actually really expensive material. It's actually worth a lot more than diamonds is if you transfer it how much that is worth into real money. Well, if you see, the the molding on the, on the action figure is actually quite good. He's pretty maneuverable, his legs work, his torso does, his head does, his shoulders work good, but his arms are a little hard to move. Because if you see right there, that's what it that's the joint. It's a little stiff on both arms. But it actually is quite quite good. I don't have that many complaints, but really the only thing I have is what I just said earlier about about the arms. You have to get two, use two hands to move it, and that is quite inconvenient because if you see I'm, my other hand, I'm using to record with. Okay, let's get let's get to the next alien. This is forms, and I thought it would be cool if I compared this forms to the to the original forms. This is the forms from the newest. From the new Ben 10 show. See, he's quite maneuverable. His hands are quite big. And soon, because there's a new Omni enhanced line of aliens, and his hands are gonna be even bigger. What? You should see that action figure. Well, his head works pretty good. His arm his arms are pretty maneuverable. I don't have that many complaints. I actually don't really think I have any complaints. No, no, not really. I thought everything with him is actually quite good. Okay, now to the new old forms. This is the very first form of forms from the original show. And I watched it. It's actually quite, quite cool. You should watch... Actually quite good. You should watch it. The hat... The top arms can bend, but the hands really don't. And the bo bottom arms, the hands do move, but the arms don't bend. Don't bend. And the paint came off a little too easily. That is the Omnitrix, a symbol that all aliens have have on them. Not too, not that bad. I actually quite like it. The legs are a little flimsy. But not that bad. I don't really have that many complaints with this guy, except the legs. Hmm. Well, if you see, I'm going to try to repaint this guy, but it might be a little hard. If so, if I do, I'll put that in a later video. But it's not going to be in my 12 Days of Christmas special. It will be probably a few, like maybe a few weeks or maybe a month or two later. I don't know. But everyone, if you watch my... In my fourth day of Christmas yesterday, you you would if you want to get that those sh those four shadowed spots, you better start watching the show Sword Art Online, which I talked about yesterday while I was filming my fourth day of Christmas. Okay, we've done enough of viewing this guy. Let's get to another one, next one. This is Cannonbolt, and I thought it would be just cool if I glued this t this little. Thing to his head, which is a which is a Power Rangers Megazord toy from the from the series Power Rangers Samurai. I also watched that when I was a, when I was when I was maybe seven or eight. We you know six or seven. It was quite good. Mm, well, eh. It was decent. This is actually the this part is actually the White Tiger Zord. But now back to Cannonbolt. Cannonbolt is actually quite different animation from the original p version of him. Cannonbolt, his only power is to turn into a ball. But you can probably guess he's quite good at bowling. 
So remember, I'm Mobstar, and I'll see you